See if we just get Lori in focus here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> and the ones where I was in front before anyone else were down or dog. So, if you're, I had a wonderful exchange this past week with somebody that, that hasn't been able to get to a studio that used to have a practice and is now signed up for so many different programs that, that he can't find his way forward and is really discouraged. And I said, you know, one of the best ways to really begin to own your own practice is to have it on a page next to you. Is either write your own, like a score, um, it's like a musical score, and or open it in a book. Because when you're in a class and you're in a studio, you're trucking along, it's like being on a bus. The bus is going to take you from home to the movies. That's where you're going. You can read a book. You can talk with a friend. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to pay attention, and the bus still gets there. However, when you are walking from home to the bus and you stop and get distracted, you're not going any further. And so when you start to have your own practice, when you're going off of a page that's not animated, it's not, it's not going anywhere until you go, um, this is a fantastic resource. So it's called Moving Towards Balance. And you have, you have eight weeks of little sequences of little people doing exactly the thing that you can do. And it's progressive and it's so intelligent. And um, so I'll, I'll post it up on Instagram. But if you're feeling lost or you can't find the progress of your practice anymore, that would be a place that I would really recommend. So we're still working on opening the front body. And by opening the front body, you demonstrate a willingness to be in the world, to feel, to be hurt, to be ecstatic. As animals, we instinctively know that we need to protect our vital organs, our throat, our face, and so we have a natural protective response to cover our front bodies. But doing a back bend, you take a position that's the antithesis of your natural protective posture and you intentionally expose the soft parts of your body, which in an animal, when on all fours, are always protected. So while back bends might feel liberating, they're also very difficult because your body feels so vulnerable. And playing with back bending this week, I found how I was able to maintain a really great level of tension and do a back bend. And so I'm encouraging us to not do the tension and the back bend at the same time. That if we can start to let it soften, and in the softening, that's the vulnerability. You know, I wonder how long my job will go on. I don't know. I wonder how this class will go. I don't know. But in opening this, I'm, I'm opening to a trust, to something more than what I can know. And that's really the, the goal of the front body. So we're going to start standing up just to make some heat and just to make a little bit of space in the low body. So swinging across. If you turn to face out that way, then you won't kick each other. That would be my suggestion. Yeah, super. And so you put a flex in your foot, your hands on your hips, and at first you're going to wobble around. And so get the wobbling out and start to be aware of landing on the ball of your foot and then the heel of your foot. And notice if you're sort of clumping your whole foot to the floor, can you find the ball and the heel? Because it's from there that you start to get some balance and some organization. Set your gaze on one point. And then when everything is set, then you can hold a steady focus and a steady movement. So just for three, starting to find the outer hips, the inner thigh, the low belly. Get a little longer in the sweep of your leg, two. Mm -hmm. Good. A little momentum. And then putting your feet wide, your hands wide, bring your right elbow to your left knee and open up. So you're repeating right elbow, left knee. So you become stable in your standing leg, and you reach the opposite hand. And from right heel to left hand, get longer. 
And from elbow to knee, curl in a little more. Tuck your chin, spread your back. 10 and nine. So that you're this great mobile X. Exhaling, elbow to knee, inhaling, opening. <sighs> the whole purpose here is to open the breath, so two. And you're gonna change left elbow, right knee. And if you can find a steady breath and a steady movement, you'll start to flush out the back body. Reach from your left heel to your right fingers. Find that line. Letting it get a little breathless. Let it open the upper back, the low belly. Three. Yep. Two. And stand wide, good. Bend your left knee, bring your right hand down to your fingertip, to the shin or to the floor, and then up and open. Left hand to the shin or to the floor. So you're putting a bend in your knee. And you start to fold and unfold. Now you're really emptying the breath. As you stand up, go wide, open across the pelvis, open across the chest, and come away from any kind of performance as though this was for anyone but yourself. <sighs> Where does it need to go? You can let it out of the mouth. <sighs> good, good, good. Three, and two, and one. Excellent, hands wide. Now bend your elbows and take your elbows back. Spread your palms like you're spreading your chest. So the temptation is to send your tail out backwards and create an arch here. And in this, bend your knees and take your pelvis a little bit forward. Wag your tail, bring your weight into your heels. Send as though you were pressing your hip points into the wall. Elbows back, now walk to the top of your mat. Elbows back. See how I want to arch my back? And I'm going to send my tail down. And that will lift me up and my heart a little higher. Now hands up high, tuck your chin. And low ribs, stay right there. So when you start opening the front body, you start gaining a little more momentum, a little more energy. Bend your knees, sweep wide, fold down. Put your left foot back. Now if you like to have a blanket or a prop under your knee, Set yourself up and bring your left knee to the floor. Hands up high. Bend your elbows like we just did. So your palms face the ceiling. Your elbows as far back as they'll go and you're broadening across the solar plexus. So hold it one breath. Inhaling. And exhaling. Hands up high. Inhale, look up. And then hands down. Step back, down long. And just Walk out your dog, but start to feel how across the center of your chest is getting more spacious, more active. And the left foot will step up and the right knee will come down. And the hands will come up high. So if you need a little forward and back, be kind on your right side. And bring your elbows down. So inhaling here. Exhaling here to inhale up, to hands down, to step your right foot up, good, hands wide, sit deeply, thumbs up, heart up, stand up, elbows bending, down, exhale, inhale here, exhale here, navel to spine, and now lift up, look up, bend your knees and fold down, right foot back, right knee down, hands up high, there's inhale, Elbows down, there's exhale, stay and breathe into the tips of your elbows, into the tips of your fingers, exhale, navel the spine, and inhale up, good, and fold, down dog, right foot will step up, left knee will come down, hands high on the inhale, elbows down on the exhale, inhale here, exhale, stay, inhale, lift up, look up, and then hands down, step the left up, bend in the knees, hands wide, sit down, thumbs up, hands up, bend your elbows, exhale, hands up, look up, inhale, do it again, 
Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, reach up. Fall. Left foot back, left knee down, hands up high. That's in. Elbows down is out. Inhale up, look up. Fold down. Down dog. Inhale, dog, left foot, exhale, right knee down, hands bring you up, elbows bring you out, in and up, and hands down, step up, sit down, sweep wide, stand up, elbows down, last return, so hands up, reach up, look up, bend your knees, fold down, right foot back, right knee down, Good, hands up high. Bend your elbows, tuck your chin, and now reach up, look up, and fold down. Inhale, up. Good, right foot steps up, last knee down. Sweeping up, and down. And up, and down. Stepping up, hands wide, sit down, rise up. Pause, palms together, bring it right down the middle and stand tall, thumbs at the heart. And as you settle, imagine you're inhaling up the front body and you're exhaling down the back body. Inhaling up over the crown and exhaling down to the heels. And just start to feel that there's a current up the front and down the back. The front body is, is walking forward through time. This is your future. And behind you is what you've done. And so this is your past. You set it down. You rise up into the future. You set the past behind you. Just start to feel that is steady in your body. Good. Hands up high. Big bend in the knees. Hands wide. Step both feet back. Down and facing dog. Mm -hmm. Pedal your dog for a beat. Wag your tail for a beat. Ah. Oh. Roll your chin, roll your throat, turn your neck. We'll bring the knees down to the floor. Draw your heart forward, tuck your chin, round your back. And just start to move a little through the spine. So the tail tips up and the heart throws open. And the tail drops down and the tuck of the chin. So work right there with whatever pace suits your spine. And turn your right thumb forward, your right fingers right. Turn your left thumb forward, your left fingers left. Try to draw your hands apart and feel the movement of the spine comes higher, up behind the lungs. See if we can get a little lighter. Now you may work right here or turn your left fingers one step further, your left thumb turning left. Yep. And then your right thumb turns once again. So your fingers point towards your thighs, now open through the forearms, through the upper arms, across the collarbones, trying to broaden your hands, five, four, three, good, two, good, now we're going to pause with the navel down and the throat open, stay, and in that posture, a little circle of your tail, just for five, trying to keep drawing your heart forward, trying to keep drawing your hands apart, and all the places that you resist that, just melt them down and reverse your circle. So you're opening the fronts of your forearms, the inner wrists, across the front of the chest. Three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where can you go? Two. Ha. Ah, widen your knees, toes together. Turn your fingers forward. Go back. Hips to heels. Drum your fingers will release your wrists. Move yourself side to side. And then tight fists and open your hands. Tight fists and open your hands. And then palms down. Arms so long and clear. Press the base of your thumb, the base of your first finger knuckle, and wrap your outer shoulders back. So the thumb is the inside of the shape, the shoulders are the outside. Wrap the outside back. And from those arms, lift up, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, you feel. Now the arms are engaged, the hands are engaged, the chest is engaged. Good. Good, you'll step your right foot up and bring a block with you. 
just in case. You're going to put it outside of the right foot and come into a warrior two. Good, good, good. Just so it's in reach. Straighten your front leg, bring your hands up high, there's your breath in. Put your hands out wide, there's your breath out. So inhaling, start to find the back hip to heel, keep that as an anchor. You start to come into that. And hands up high, now as you bend your front knee, take it to the right. So open across the pelvis, heel down, knee wide, one more. So put it together, back heel back, front knee forward, go to the right and stay. Turn your thumbs up. Good, good, and turn your thumbs back. Ah. So Stephanie, see how your hands are behind you? Look over your hand and set it in front of you. And then look over your back hand and set it in front of you. Now into your thumbs, into your pinkies, bend your front knee. Ha, reverse, back hand down, right hand. Take it up, straighten your front leg, wag a little, and then elbow to thigh. Bend your elbow, set it down, sweep over. Good, 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 three of those, warrior two, and reverse, inhale back. Exhale through warrior two, inhale over the top. Strong, from your left hip to your left heel, keep making that your anchor, one more, reaching back. Through warrior two, pause. Ha, so plug in left hip to left heel. And from there, open out from your left shoulder to your left hand. Bend your left elbow, turn your palm to face the same direction as your face, so it's open. And then reach out and spin the palm to face the floor. Just one more. Bend your elbow, your palm facing the direction you're facing. And then all the way over and the palm faces the floor. Good, good, good. Stand up tall, right hand high. So the left palm turns away. Keep it here, doesn't come up. As you bring your hand down toward the block, you can stand your block up higher if you need it, or hand the shin. Left hand draws you back up. There's your breath in. And then all the way down to the block or to the shin. Keep opening the top of the left shoulder. One more, rise up. Reach into the left fingertips. They're like your left heel, your anchor. And now sit down, pause. Left hand comes over. Yes, now bend your elbow, palm facing the way you're facing. Ha. Huh. Broaden the chest and then reach over the top. Three. Bend your elbow. Broaden your chest, plug into the feet and reach over. Good, one more. Bend. Ha. Huh. That's it. Shoulder blade down your back. Reaching over, reaching over, reaching over, looking down, set down, left knee to the floor. So fold your blanket back if it's in front, and you'll take your block and put it on its short end against the left thigh. And that will mean that when you come forward, a corner of the block will find your mat. Oh my God. Full face plant. And ideally, it will stick, which mine isn't doing. Ah. Okay. Left hand high. Good. Hold opposite elbows and lean the left hip forward, the left thigh into that block. Press the left toes down into the floor. So that the opening of the left side body is now, we open to the side, the lateral side, now come into the front of the left side, hands high, and go a little to the right. Trusting that the block lifts you up and out of the pelvis. And now, are you holding, are you forcing, are you surviving, or is there a little softening, a little less effort? And hands down. Ha! As you step to dog, press the base of your left thumb down, your outer left shoulder back, left heel down, and notice the sensation of opening through the whole left side body. Look to your feet, turn your left heel in, seal the outer left foot to the floor and bend your right knee. Now circle your left hip. Wherever the shoulders need to go, go. So that from the outer left hip through the outer 
shoulder through the outer foot. I, you can make a circle and rinse out what's in there and reverse your circle. Three, ha. Feeling how connected. We have connected tissue from the soles of our feet through the backs of our legs to the base of our skull. Normal dog. So the left side will feel radically different from the right. And that's on purpose. Good. And the left foot steps up. And the block comes outside the left foot. And sweep away. So we start out just arriving your dog. Straighten your front leg. Lift your hands up high. And begin there. So as you rise up, anchor right hip, right heel, and down. That stays your anchor, right hip, right heel. And as you bend your left knee, take it left towards your pinky toe, towards your pinky toe, so you broaden through the pelvis. Good. And one more, go wide. Back heel, front heel are even. Left knee wide, right hip wide. Go ahead, turn your thumbs up. Look forward, turn your thumb open. Look back, turn your palm open and feel that space across the chest. And reverse. Hand back, straight front leg, up and out. And then go wide, warrior two, to elbow to thigh, to over the top. Three times, warrior two is the exhale, reversing is the inhale. Right hip to heel, and then arms wide, elbow to thigh, heel is your anchor. Building the mobility and the stability at the same time. As you reach over, your palm faces the floor. As you bend your elbow, you turn your thumb down, broadening through the chest, shoulder blade to the spine, and then you reach over, look down, inhale, and then exhale, shoulder blade to spine. Thumb points down, one more. So the front knee's going forward, the back heel's going back, you broaden through the collarbones, you keep that look up, reach over, and plug in, right hip, right heel. Yes, 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 right hip, right heel, good. Laura, bend your knee, take it left. There you go, there you go, there you go. Stephanie, wriggle your fingers. Wriggle your fingers. Yes, there! Laughing is even better, right hand down, right knee down, right? So we can get stuck, so stuck. Folding back, finding your block. So the short end of your block comes to your right thigh. And then the tail, the corner of the block, plugs into the mat and your hands come up. Just hold the opposite elbow. And as you trust your thigh into that block, it makes an opening. It makes an elevation across the front of the hip. And just know that you open the outer heel, outer hip, outer shoulder, and now come from that side body, open the front of it. Hands high. If you like, hold the right wrist. And now, where are you surviving? <laughs> and where, what happens if you put that down? And rest in the floor, and rest in the block, and rest in the bind. Everything opens. And then down. But it's really that little change, down dog, from surviving that we want to shift as we come into the front of the body. So right thumb, right outer shoulder, right hip, find that dog. Mm -hmm. And then turn your right heel in, bend your left knee, and circle your right hip. And this circling is a chance to be a little less formal and a little more personal. Where does it need to go? Only you know huh, what you've been doing to hook yourselves together. So reverse your circle. Huh, and it's as though we're stripping our story off so that our body could be just free to be sort of this art, archetypal skeleton instead of me, Martha, the story, the way that I went swimming or riding yesterday, center dog. So I'm taking yesterday off of my body so that I can be in today without a story. Yeah, excellent, excellent. 
knees to the floor. Wide knees. And let's fold. This time you're going to inch your fingers forward. Come onto your fingertips, sit your hips back, look forward. So the chest starts to come through. Inch your fingers forward. Oh. So your tail goes back and your heart comes forward. So that the front of your heart is drawn forward and the back of your heart is drawn back. Remember that breath where we went up the front body and down the back body? So that your armpits are getting longer and your heart is coming down and your heart is coming down. Now inch your fingers forward. Option one is to set a block on its edge and rest your sternum. Option two, set the block on its belly, rest your sternum. Option three is to put your sternum on the floor, put your chin on the floor. Ha. And the palms are long and the gaze is forward and the armpits are long and the chest is broad. Now stop surviving and trust the pose. And what can open? All the things you're holding to get through. Three. Mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. Good. Lift your heart, tuck your chin. Walk your hands back, put your knees together, put your feet together, and then fold back so that your ribs encounter your thighs and that rounds the back more. Tuck your chin. If you need to, cross your forearms, rest your head on your arms, or rest your head on the floor. If you have the space, bring your hands back, holding your heels and the forehead to the floor. So just being heavy, allowing the outer shoulders to be heavy toward the floor, the head to be heavy, the chin to tuck in, the hips to be heavy, and in that you're completely effortless. You fall into that counter pose a little bit more, a little bit more. Good. Walk your hands out and tuck your toes and down dog. And be steady in your dog, noticing what's starting to change. Just coming to a neutral. Thumbs down, shoulders roll back, chest is broad. So we'll start to open the front of the chest a little more. We've got the sides nice and long. Step your right foot outside of your right hand. Bring your left foot down. So turn your right toes out to the right. Put your hand on the block on the left. And so my block is wider than my mat. My toes are turned off the mat. I've got this big space to do my backstroke. And the heel moves my hips forward and back. And your hand is lifting you up and out of the hips, out of the chest, so that you're coming into the right side body from your pubic bone, through your rib cage, and up out the right shoulder. Coming more and more to the front surface of your body. And then keep the right arm beside your ear and send your hips forward and back. And it can be deep and slow. It can be quick and pliable. Entirely yours. And just pause. So the front knee stays bent. The left hand is plugged in. Lift your left knee. Good. Revolve your left hip under your right hip. Look up. Turn your right palm to the front. And now draw your hands apart and scissor your thighs together. So the arms are opening and the legs are hugging towards each other. And the right hand slowly reaches overhead, 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 overhead. And then all the way back up and back and down. And step back to find your dog noticing. So the dog is our place of constancy. Right palm, right chest, and from the right chest through the front of the abdomen, the whole right side feels changed. And our dog is the place where we can start to feel and see what's the difference? How am I altered? 
And the left foot steps outside of the left hand. Turn your toes to the left. Put the block under your right hand. The block is wider than the mat. My hips are wide. And my left hand goes a great backstroke. Use your left heel to pull your hips forward to send your hips back. And notice from the left side pubic bone, left side belly, left side chest and shoulder. Start to get that front body length. Left arm stays beside your ear and your hips come forward and back. Yes. As though you could even use your toes. Pull your toes back when you go back to it. And then put your toes down to bring your hips a little more forward. Ah, so left foot to the floor, spin the chest, lift your right knee and press straight to the right hand. Left hand comes high and spread your fingers, turning them open to the front. Hug your right hip under your left and scissor your thighs to firm your back leg to reach over. Take your time, take your time. So you're coming out of the hip, into the back heel, through the fingertips. Ah, and the hands come down. And you step back and you find your dog and you notice your dog. Ah. We're going to go in the nose and out the mouth. So it's a long, smooth inhale. Oh. Like you were fogging a mirror. Two more. Tip your tail. One more. Knees to the floor. Feet flat. Hips back. Sit back and bring the backs of your hands to your low back. So your palms face away. Fold your way down. And then sweep wide and lift your hips up high. Wag the tail. Just pause here. So you'll have a little bit of a head rush potentially. And then turn your palms away, your thumbs down, your hips back, hands to the back of the body. So the order of operations, hands first. Now your hips, and your hips, 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 then hands again. And the head just follows, so hands, hips, hands. See if you can find that motion, hands wide, hips forward, hands up, and let the upper back simply follow. So it's the hips that we're paying attention to instead of the chest. And that may start to find a little bit of a pace where you're unfolding and you're refolding. And it's from the hips rather than from the chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jerry, when you come up, send your hips forward like you would rest them on the front wall and allow your arms to trust the hips. You can even simply keep your gaze forward so that you're plugging into the shins and the hips and the chest is last. One more as you come up, bring your palms to your heart and then to the floor. And now notice the whole front body. Legs are a little bit soft. Fold your blanket front to back and slide it aside. And then finding your high plank, bring yourself down the ground. Walk your thighs back and plant your palms. Elbows wrap in, feet float, legs straight, point your toes so that you're connected from your navel to your feet. And then you just float your feet up. So wide as you'll go and exhale close. So you open. Tuck of the chin, you're gazing straight down to the mat, even closing your eyes so that what's interesting is the movement of your legs. As you open, straighten. As you close, stay straight and zip. You're wringing out 
As you open, really point the toes, draw the shoulder blades back to the spine. As you zip your legs together, hug your navel to your spine. And we'll go five, four, three, two, ha. Good. Zip your feet together, bring the tops of your feet down, lift your heart, and come to sphinx, elbows down. So the legs stay active, the legs stay active, the legs are lifting you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Heels wide and in, so loosen your heels that they can wag a little bit, awesome. Let them fall open, and as they fall open, feel your outer hip wrap forward. And that may bring your navel up a little bit, a little tuck of the chin. Wrap your outer hips forward. <sighs> Just feel that action all the way through the thigh. What happens when you have your outer hips forward? What, it's, what else does it affect? And then loosen your heels. Wrap your heels in. In. And then straighten the legs so that inner thighs are rolling down and the pubic bone is wrapping into the floor. Now there's a little more stability. And the heart comes up. Oh, oh, up, up. We're having a cat. Oh. Disaster pants. <laughs> Yay. Hi, Suki. Yes. Hey, no, with Lori. Good. So from the outer hips, wrap your outer hips forward and then also wrap your inner hips forward so the heels are in total neutral, the legs are so clear and strong. This protects your low back. As you bring your belly down, float your feet and bring your elbows back. So inner thighs, outer hips, find the legs and reach your right hand out and across to the left and back. And the left hand out and across and back. Tuck your chin. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. So that as you draw back, you're strengthening your shoulder blades to your spine. <laughs> if we lose you, it's because the kitty is trying to be a part of the class and rub on the camera. Oh. Zip your feet, right? Zip your feet so you have this stable base. The legs are long. Three, good. Two, good. Elbows back, fingertips to the floor. Put your feet down. Tuck your chin, put your forehead down. Pause. Shoulders up and back. Forehead down. Pause. Let your thighs be heavy. Walk your thighs back a little bit. You've made some space. So the thighs are heavy. See if that can float the navel up a little bit. Walk your fingers back to draw your shoulders back to lift your head up. Walk your fingers back to lift your head up. Float your feet. Ha. Float your feet. Find your fingertips. Three. Ha. Float your fingers. Two. Good. Bring it all the way down, turn your head and wag your tail. Mm. So when we are paying attention to something in our hands or something down in front of us, like a shiny device, it rolls our upper spine down and we grow weak through the chest. Turn your chin the other way. You can bend your knees and wash your feet out side to side. Good, 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 good. Bring your hands forward. Walk yourself to the left side of your mat and put your right hand wide, flat to the floor. Mm -hmm. And then inch your fingers away as you roll to the right ribs. <laughs> right hip, drop your head, bend your knees. And then roll the left knee open and the left foot to the floor. Drop your head so your chin wants to tuck in towards your shoulder. Let it fall. 
And now deep, full breath, if you need to, out the mouth. All the places that we hold through the chest, through the shoulders. <sighs> and then belly down. Walk to the right side of your mat. Left hand wide, left palm to the floor. And then roll to your left. Left ribs, left hip, bend your knees, drop your head, and roll your right knee open. Your right fingers are a kickstand. Let your chin tuck in. Oh, and just notice as you let your right knee fall open and opener and opener, that you could let your shoulder blades drop together behind you. Where does the breath go here? Ah. Oh. And then all the way back down to the belly, to the center. Oh. Ah. Flat your hands, hands and knees, widen your knees, put your toes together, and just find a slow counter pose through your child. Feeling the space through your chest, through your shoulders. So when we do deep work, we often want to follow it with something that's a little quicker so that it's as though you could take that opening and put it to use so that the body knows how to work with this opening instead of going back to a closed habit. So we'll come up onto hands and knees. Taking your blanket, you want a long, thin wrapping, right? And the fold of it is going to face the front of your mat, right? So that you could step forward and put your heels on the bucket and the balls of your feet are on the mat. Bend your knees, hold opposite elbows, drop your head, let your knees be soft. Ah. So you've made some space through the upper back, let your head be heavy, let yourself hang a little bit. A little side to side. So as you roll your elbow, your left elbow rolls to the right, you send your left thigh back and then you bend into center. You roll your right elbow to the left, send your right thigh back. Just finding your way into that posture. Finding center. Lift your toes, plant the balls of your feet and then lay your toes down long. Good. Lift your hips a little higher by sending your shins back. Imagine you could widen the backs of your knees, drop and widen the base of your neck similarly. So the knees will bend and the elbows come up. So the tail goes back and the elbows come up and your heart gets longer. Your elbows come up, your seat comes down, your heart gets longer. Sit down, elbows up, elbows up, elbows up, stand it up. Ah! Stay, stay, there's gonna be a rush. You've opened that valve, blink, widen your jaw, your face, call it up. So the tail goes back and the heart stays high and the elbows stay high and the tail goes back and the knees bend and you take your time and the longer you're long in your heart, the better the work and the deeper the seat and then ribs to thighs, head is last, spread the balls of your feet pressed down, the backs of your knees widen, the base of your neck widens. Sit the seat down, ha, ah, elbows, 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 elbows. So the elbows are lengthening your heart. Your heart isn't leading. You're being lifted by your elbows. You sit it down, you plant your feet, you lift it up, you unfold, you ride the ride. Go up, go up, go up. Clear it out. Balls of the feet down, base of the big toes down, tail down, go. Oh, and tail back, and tail back. So what we're doing is untying, untangling all the tension of protecting ourselves, of getting it right, holding it together, full. 
Balls of the feet down, widen and lengthen the backs of your knees, the back of your neck, last time. So elbows lift a little before you start. Sit down, lead with your elbows. You know where you're going, how far do you wanna go in? Elbows, not chest, elbows, 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 elbows. Hips, like your camel. So your hips are forward, your heels are down. Last time, take it back. Elbows are long and elbows are long and elbows are long. That's it, weight in the balls of your feet, toes are long, folding down, letting go. Hips up high, lengthen your toes and hands down. Down dog. So that was a massive spring cleaning exercise. <laughs> right? All the ways that we're trying to live well often create tension. <laughs> oh, one foot and then the other. Ah, press your hands down so clearly. Your hips up high. There's a purpose now. There's a certainty. Walk your feet forward. Stand your heels on the leg with the feet down. Get your strap and sit up tall. So we cleared the physical body with that really juicy elbow hold, which I'm tempted to apologize for, but I won't because it was <laughs> totally worth it. Now you want your strap long enough to come up and over. So this clearing continues with the strap and with our arms long. We're going to clear not the physical body, but the energetic body. So your strap is long enough that it's not involving your eyebrows or your jaw. See how your toes want to all look at your big toe? Yeah, lift them up, spread them out, and then set them down and see if they can all look in their own direction. <laughs> yeah. Yes, awesome, here we go. So keeping that big base, thank you, Chan, hands up and open. So again, my temptation is to crunch my low back. Imagine camel, hips, and the heart follows. Oh. So you're taking your time. You're coming up and out of the pelvis. Coming up and through the sides of your waist. Through the arms, through the chest. Four. Through the jaw, through the sides of the throat. For three, bigger bend in your knees as you choose. You know where it's needed. And then pause with your hands up high. Good, drop them to the right. And the left hand across the front, tail back, and the right hand up over. Ooh. So let that circle start to get easier. And give it a little momentum. And let it move. Your feet are your anchor. Three, I up, and two, good. And one, pause at the top, find your center, and then you fall left, your right hand across the front, and reverse, good, good, good. All the way around, through the arms, through the chest, through the breath. And then your hands up high. Good, take them behind you. And wrap your palms to face back, which will shorten your strap to about hip distance. Step forward off of that bolster. Good, last place, here we go. Ho, oh, chest is broad. Sit your seat back, lead with your heart, just like you did with your knees. Find your way in, find your feet. This will be exhale. Fold your belly down, lift your hips, lift your hands overhead, drop your head, heels down, toes lock. Inhale here, hands down, sit down, hard up, inhale, stand up, five. So how effortlessly can you flush out the bend of your knees, your hands and your head, sitting down, inhale, stand up. You are moving prana through your systems, digestion and breath and heart and mind. Oh, sit, inhale, over. Exhale, down, where can you take it? You got one more. Oh. Over and down. As you fold, you're gonna stay over this time and let yourself move a little bit side to side. A little bit side to side, as we did holding elbows. Involve the legs, involve the chest, the hands overhead. Good, 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 three. Oh. Two. Good, 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 good. Good. Head
hands to your hips. Sit down, look forward, release the strap to one hand, sit on your blanket, and you'll lie back on the hips on that folded blanket. Oh, hands open, just notice, just notice. If you like lights out long, it's up to you. Just feeling the flush of the front body. That really this opening that we've just made, this is, this is you with no tension in the way. It may cause you to cough. It may cause some congestion later this afternoon. You were holding a good deal in the lymphatic system, in the lungs, in the chest, tuck your shoulder blades under, shake out your feet side to side, your knees up and down, loosen and wag the tail, the whole body. Just shake it loose. So what you were holding is drawn into the breath and then expelled on the exhale. So we're going to go in the nose and out the mouth three times. In the nose. Wag it at the end, inhale. Wag the tail, shake the body, exhale, shake, 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 shake it all the way out of your feet. One more breathing in and in and in and in and in. Scoop it up and then shake it out. Nice. Walk your feet in. So lay the belly across your strap, then it's easy to find and use. Draw your right knee to your chest. Interlace your fingers, keep it close. So your hips are still on the blanket. <coughs> and now as you draw your right shin in, feel it lengthen the back of your body. So the counter pose here as we slow down is open the back so it matches the front. Oh, breath starts to settle into the backs of your lungs. You'll lift your right foot and put the strap over the arch of your foot. Left foot is flat to the floor, left knee bent. Arms straighten and hold the strap on either side. So straightening your right leg, hold the strap one on each side. As you bend your right knee, bend your elbows wide. Now the blanket will tip your tail up to the ceiling and tip your pelvis. Stand in your left foot, tip it more. And now straighten your leg. Press into the strap to straighten the arms to open the low neck. Bend your knee, widen your elbows, that's breath out. Ah, push into the strap, straighten the arms, that's breath in, three more. Oh, so you're rinsing the right hip, and then you're straightening and opening from your heel to your hip hamstring. And one more, bring it down. And then bring it up, press into the heel, press into the strap, press your right hip forward away from your shoulder. Both straps into your right hand, left hand overhead, and left leg straightens out. Press into your heels as though standing. Press into your heels as though standing. Ah. So feel that as you press your right hip forward, you square the hips. As you square the hips, you lengthen the spine. You lengthen the abdomen. You lengthen the legs. There's a purpose. Take your left hand wide to the left. Palm is open to the ceiling. A little bend in your right knee as you widen the right leg out to the right. And you are finding where you are appropriately open. If you like, a little bend in the knee and then a little press to the heel. So a little bend in the knee and a little press into the strap. And once you've found that little press, press into the strap, press into the heel, press into the left heel, and let the center body open from there for three. When you get disengaged, put a little more pressure into the feet opening the backs of your knees, widening the right inner thigh. Ah. 
bringing it all the way up into the middle. Hold the strap again with two hands. Tuck your chin, lift your head and shoulders, and bend your elbows and stay. Drawing the ball of your foot back, flexing your foot deeply, and then a big bend in your right knee, remove this strap. Walk both feet in, feet flat. Lift your hips over and up and over to the right. So you're on your left hip. Float your feet up and roll over so your left thigh drops onto that blanket. And your right arm opens wide to the right. Good. Sweep your right hand up overhead. And now skimming the floor, sweep wide to the right and down towards your hips. Sweep wide. Up and overhead. And wide and down. When your hand is down, you look to the right. When your hand is overhead, you look to the left. And you use the turn of your head to open into the right side of your spine. And you go one more fully down and up. And you pause with your right hand wide like a wing. You hug your inner thighs. And the little squeeze of your inner thighs turn your navel to your right. And the breath right behind your heart. And into the center. So knees roll up, feet to the floor, right hand down, pause at center. Hands on thighs, press away, just notice. So these counter poses with the legs are making sure that we're not just blowing the chest open, but creating some stability. Left knee to your chest, interlace your fingers, hold that left shin. On your exhale, you're really using the shin to rinse out the body. Your elbows reach down towards your hips and it draws down along the sides of your neck and the tops of your shoulders. You're squeezing the breath out of the body. Mm. And then the strap goes over the arch of your left foot. Mm. Arms straighten and hold the strap where the leg is straight, the shoulders on the floor. A bend of your knees as your elbows bend wide, bring your knee down, bring your elbows wide. Press, 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 press. And then straighten the leg and press the foot into the strap. Press your left hip away. And there's your flow. Exhaling, knee down toward the floor. Inhaling, pressing the foot up into the sky. So it's strong. You're using your arms strongly. You're using your legs strongly. Ah. And with that strength, you're rebuilding. This is my foundation. And you press into the foot and you stay, opening the back of the knee. Two straps into the left hand, press into the strap. Right hand overhead, right leg straightens. Press into the heels. So there's a clarity, a purpose in the body. Oh, spread your toes so that it's all the way to the tips of the toes and the crown of your head. Right arm wide to the right, palm is open. Left leg, a little bend in the knee, wide into the left, and then press into the heel. A little bend in the knee and a press. Even a little bend in both knees and a little press. Send your left hip away from your left shoulder. Now we build the stability. That even at our edge, we can have a center. We can be steady and open. I can show you my softest self, but feel safe. Press into the heels, widen through the inner hip, widen across the chest, feel it out through the hands and bring it up into the center. 
Good. Both hands, one holds each strap. Lift your head and shoulders, elbows go forward, standing in both feet, tuck of the chin. So you're lengthening through the low back, you're lengthening through the back of the neck, you're lengthening through the right thigh. And then you set it down. And you bend both knees flat to the floor. Lift your hips and shift them to the right. Lift your feet and drop your right thigh across that holster and the right hand to the left thigh. Oh. Left hand goes overhead and then sweeps wide and down and back up. That's it. Laurie, see if you can keep your hand open to the ceiling even when it's down by your hip so that it feels just like that triangle setup that we did. We didn't do that on the left side. I just realized. So keeping your palm open and reaching into the fingertips will help to open through the left collarbone. And then the left arm stays wide. Hug your inner thighs to turn your navel left so that you're ringing from the base like a tube of toothpaste. And that turns your navel, stabilizes the back and opens the chest. Good. Come into the center. Feet down, hips up, find neutral. And with your hands on your thighs, heels of your hands down by your hips, press away. So there's a little lengthening. Your feet are heavy. Your spine is long. Your belly button is long that there's an interior sensation of length. Good, keep that length as you can and draw your knees towards your chest. You'll reach down, actually put your feet down before you go and fold your blanket one more time so it's a little thicker and it's a little narrow. Draw your knees in now so that you rest the backs of your hips on that thicker blanket and lift your heels. Elbows down, rest your thighs in your hands. So yeah, 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 Laura, you went the wrong way. Rather than folding widthwise, put your feet down, unfold your blanket one time widthwise, and now grab the front of it and fold it again. Yes, mm, kind of, yes, see if it works. There we go. That's what you're headed for. Yes, so that it tips your tail. Now with your hands on your thighs, try to press your hips into the front wall a little bit so that you're sending your hips forward and let your feet come a little closer towards your face. So you're getting some beautiful length in the low back. You're getting the slightest inversion And there's a quieting. Relax the effort of your knees. Let your legs be heavy and rest on your thighs. Let your shoulders be heavier and rest in the floor. That might lengthen the back of your neck. Just using the blanket under your hip, be heavy there. The hands on your thighs be heavy in the legs. And as you're heavy, you're softening the body. And as you're softening the body, you're relaxing the vascular means of circulation. So all your blood vessels just soften so slightly. So that there's an inner ease. You just give that a big breath into the backs of your lungs. You bend 
you knees and you put your feet flat. Put your feet to the floor, lift your hips, unfold so it goes back to its seated posture. Good. Find neutral for a moment. Walk yourself up to a cross-legged seat so that you're seated on the edge of that thicker blanket. And just notice what happens as you come upright. The, the front body has some space and ideally the front body equals the back body. That there's an effortlessness. If you need another layer, because we're seated, then add a layer to stay warm. Bring your heels underneath your knees so that you've got a bit of a square. And we're gonna move through the sides of the body, right hand down, left hand up and open. And then bending your elbow, bring it down, hand to the floor, and then inhaling over. And exhaling down. As you can, find that and close your eyes. And we're going to build this movement into a breath count. So keep going as I explain. We'll inhale as we reach a count of six. We'll pause the inhale, a count of four, and we'll exhale a count of six, bringing it back down. So it'll be in for six, hold for four, out for six, and we'll use the movement of the body to move that breath all the way from the seat to the hand, and it will begin to build a little bit. So go one more, and we'll start as you raise your hand. In, two, three, four, five, six, stay, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four, five, six, stay, two, Three, four, and out. Two, three, four, five. Continue. In, two, three. Pause. And out. Softer. And in. Soft in the body, soft in the breath. Pause. Keep reaching. And then out, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, and let it go. Be still. In six. Explore. Pause. And out. Let the body be so gentle and the breath so steady. And out. And in. Pausing. Can you remove any tension? So smooth, so soft, so steady. Just pausing at the top. And now. There we go. Nice and smooth. One more. And down. You have hands on thighs. As if you moved your arms, breathe in six. Pause four. Out six. Navel the spine, empty it all. In six. Heart up, chin in, neck long. Pause four. Out six. And in. And pause, heart up, chin in. Chin up, breath out. Settle all out, all out, all out. Three more rounds.
with your last exhalation, just allow natural breathing and let your breath be as effortless as you can. If it wants to be big, be big or small, however, just letting go. So there's an equanimity, the front is open, the back is open, the body tall and even. So we want to rest in that evenness so that it becomes something that integrates. To do that, we'll set up using a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you'll use your two blocks. Take your blanket and unfold it so you want to have two blankets if possible, but no cats. Hmm. Unfolding so that the back of your body is supported from the back of your head to the backs of your hips. And then a block under each cup, or you take your bolster. Somebody asked, I get these from Chakra, C-H-A-T-T-R-A, -T -T these are Chakra bolsters. If you have a second one, so have it within reach, right? So you're going to put your big one here, and it's on its edge. If you have a second one, you'll set it under your backs so that your heels are free. So one under the backs of your knees. If you have only blocks, put them under the meat of your calves so that when you lie back, your little back is lengthened. So Stephanie, make sure that gets all the way to the back of your head. Okay. Yep, no. I just have, I don't have one of those. So you're going to put the second bolster under here. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. And then you lie back and cover yourself. Good. Careful, that's where the cats come. <laughs> and if you choose, if you had a square pillow, you would set it in a diamond shape so that the point towards towards you. And just any adjustment that you need to be warm, supported, quiet, if you can cover your eyes. Yep, that's it, Jerry. If you have a hoodie, hood yourself up so that you can lie back with complete support and complete ease. It's a little fussy to get in, but once you're there, Settling, your breathing becoming more and more effortless. Feeling. 
feeling of the support beneath you. Feeling yourself slow down. Feeling your heels slow down, coming to land. Feeling your hips slow down. Landing. Feeling the shoulders settle. and land. Elbows in the hands become still and land. The back of your head is heavy and effortless and still. Finally, our beautiful, busy lives land in stillness for a moment. And the stillness rises to meet us. become safe in the stillness. Being still is okay. Nothing to accomplish or continue. And practice a sensation of being done. sense of satisfaction and then in the satisfaction in the stillness a deep well of fulfillment
you feel the capacity inside of you beginning to fill a little more fully. A hint of a smile. I am done. And in my doneness, I am satisfied. And in my satisfaction, I find fulfillment, the greatest payment, the greatest riches we could ever ask for. It's in fulfillment. Take this with you. And at the base of a big exhalation, you walk one foot back and then the other. To rest your feet on your bolster and turn your chin a little side to side, press into your feet to press the low back to widen. Knees to chest. Mm. Making your way up through the center or through the side to find a cross-legged seat. Sitting tall, staying warm. And just sweep wide, 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 wide. Bring the palms together right down the middle and rest your hands on your thighs and we'll stay just for a minute. Right down that center line, hands on thighs, eyes closed, and be as still and as free as you can. Just noticing the sensation of your good, good, sweet body. Let the teeth separate. Skin around your eyes is soft and smooth. The spine is tall, the shoulders soft. Rest your attention behind your belly button. On the inhale, slide your attention up through the back of the throat to the top of your head and the top of your head is down. So just find that little rhythm. Up from behind the navel, through the throat to the top of the head. Exhale at the top. At the, a, at the belly here, A. At the throat here, U. At the head on the exhale, feel U. Mm. So it's O. Cascading. start behind the navel and come up to the throat and at the throat you exhale like a great collar of light front back left right up from the navel to the throat out in all directions at the throat our communication our what we hear of the world what the world says to us and what we say in reply from the navel to the throat shun from the exhale in all directions, chi. Bringing shanti up to the throat, out in all directions, this great peace, this great fulfillment. I am all things. Yeah. 
shut it up, sweep wide, reach high. And pulse to the forehead center. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, perfect peace. Feel the throat. Feel the heart. Namaste. Have a fantastic Saturday, Sunday, whatever it is for you, whenever you replay this. I'm away tomorrow morning. So I'll be teaching at Interfusion and I won't be online. Replay last Sunday, replay today, take a break and lie in Shavasana. I dare you to get up and lie in Shavasana for 20 minutes with the props as we just set up and see how your day unfolds. It's the biggest change in my practice since I started doing that. 20 minutes a day, totally still. Sometimes it's 45, sometimes it's like 18 and a half. But really that, that supported stillness is the place where we find the, the sound of Om is all things. And the space at the throat, the peace, the fulfillment, there's no distress in my body when I've had this time. Maybe so. Have a wonderful afternoon. And I'll be back live on Tuesday at noon. See you then.